Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Recently, I've been contacted by several area scouts inquiring about skating lessons to get a merit badge in ice skating. I was a Girl Scout and I'm always happy to help young scouts. But when I looked at the requirements for the badges and realized it would take new skaters more than just a few lessons, despite what their parents were thinking, just to earn the badge, I thought I'd make a video about it so that if you're considering getting your ice skating merit badge, this video can help you determine how long Long you should plan. Today, let's explore what it takes to earn a Boy Scout badge in ice skating. There are 10 skills. In addition, there are several questions you also need to answer. Let's start with those questions. First, explain to your counselor the most likely hazards associated with skating and what you should do to anticipate, help, prevent, mitigate, and respond to these hazards. I'm not 100% sure what answer they're looking for here. My best guess is that slipping and falling is the most significant hazard. How do I anticipate, help, prevent, mitigate, and respond to that? Well, the very first thing we teach every skater is how to fall and get back up. And what to do when they feel like they might fall. The next question is to show that you know first aid for injuries or illness that could occur while skating, like hypothermia, frostbite, lacerations, abrasions, fractures, sprains, and strains, blisters, heat-related reactions, and shock. That's a whole lot. And in fact, I've taken an entire Red Cross first aid class on those things. So I'm not gonna get into that here. What I suggest to scouts is that you take a first aid training class to understand how to deal with those situations better. You're troop leader can likely schedule a private class with the Red Cross for your entire troop. Next, you choose one of the following. Provide general safety and courtesy rules for ice skating. Discuss preparations that must be taken when skating outdoors on natural ice. Explain how to make an ice rescue. For the first part of that question, I have a whole video on safety and skating etiquette. There's a link to that in the description down below. The second part of that question involves testing the ice thickness for safety, which is honestly not my area of expertise. I work in indoor ice rinks that are temperature controlled where the ice is only three quarters of an inch thick. I don't coach outdoors on natural ice for safety and insurance purposes. Discuss the parts and functions of the different types of ice skates. This is another area that I have videos on that can really help you. There are links to them in the description down below. Describe the proper way to carry ice skates. Spoiler alert, this is not with the laces tied together, thrown over your shoulder like you see in the movies. The only proper way to carry ice skates is with soakers or soft guards on them in a skating bag. Number four, describe how to store ice skates for long periods, such as seasonal storage. I talked about this in my series of videos on blades. Again, there's a link to those videos in the description down below. They can really help you. Now let's move on to the demonstrative part. The first is to skate forward at least 40 feet and come to a complete stop using either one or two foot snowplow stops. These skills are from Learn to Skate USA Basic 2 and ISI Alpha Level. If you were to take group lessons, you would have at least two lesson sessions to master these skills. The average weekly session at most ranks is eight weeks long. So these skills could take the average beginner skater about 16 weeks to master if you take group lessons. In private lessons, you could likely master them much more quickly. The next required skill is to demonstrate a two foot glide and then a one foot glide on each foot with speed.
The two foot glide is from Learn to Skate USA Basic 1. And the one foot glide is from Learn to Skate USA Basic 2. In ISI, both these skills are in the pre-alpha level. The one foot glide can be pretty challenging for new skaters. Sometimes it can prevent an ISI skater from moving up from pre-alpha to alpha. So these skills can take at least eight to 16 weeks to master in weekly group lessons. Again, you may be able to do this quicker if you take private lessons. The next required skill is starting from a T position. Stroke forward around the test area, avoiding your toe picks if you're wearing figure skates. And push. Stroking is from Learn to Skate USA Basic 3, an alpha level in ISI. In weekly group lessons, this can take a beginner skater anywhere from 16 to 24 weeks or more to master. Again, you can usually achieve it much quicker if you take private lessons. Glide backward on two feet for at least two times the skater's height. Backward gliding is from Learn to Skate Basic 2. However, in ISI, it's not tested as its own maneuver or individual skill. In my experience, the backward two-foot glide is the single most challenging skill in Learn to Skate Basic 2, which is why so many skaters have to take Basic 2 more than once in group lessons. So you should plan at least 16 to 24 weeks to master that skill in weekly group lessons. You can likely achieve it much more quickly in private lessons, and if you skate more than once a week. The next skill is skating backward for at least 20 feet. Apparently this used to be 40 feet, but in January 2006, they revised it to 20 feet. They don't say what kind of backward skating that you need to do. My guess is you can do backward marching, backward wiggles, backward stroking, whatever your preference. We teach backward skating and learn to skate basic one and ISI pre-alpha levels. This is achievable in group lessons in about eight weeks. In private lessons, skaters often master it much quicker. The next skill, after gaining forward momentum, glide forward on two feet, making a 180 degree turn around a cone in both directions. And in parentheses, it says glide turns. It's not a proper two foot turn that we teach and learn to skate USA basic two and basic three. It's more of what we call a hockey glide. The closest thing I can relate it to in learn to skate USA is curves, which are a bonus skill in basic two as preparation for learning forward inside and outside edges. How long will it take you to master this glide turn? That depends. You need a two foot glide and control to use your edges to curve in both directions. I would say to plan at least 16 weeks of weekly group lessons to master this. However, consider taking private lessons to get the skill down pat. Perform forward crossovers in a figure eight pattern. We teach forward crossovers and learn to skate basic four and ISI alpha. And T stop. Thank you. This is a significant reason that skaters take a long time, sometimes having to enroll several times to pass ISI alpha. You should plan at least 16 weeks in ISI group lessons and 32 weeks in Learn to Skate USA group lessons to learn forward and backward crossovers. However, the key here is the figure eight pattern.
That makes this maneuver significantly more difficult. In fact, it is part of the second official US figure skating moves or skating skills test, which can take several years to pass. I have skaters that skate in private lessons several times a week for years that haven't even taken that test yet. Next up, perform a hockey stop. We teach this in Learn to Skate USA Basic 5 and ISI Gamma. So in weekly group lessons, you should expect to take classes for at least 32 to 40 weeks to master a hockey stop. Finally, our last skill, taking part in a relay race. This is something that we don't do either in Learn to Skate USA or ISI. For safety reasons, I never encourage skaters to race or to even get that close to each other for a relay. Based on my experience in teaching these skills for many years as a PSA ranked and rated professional skating coach that has learned to skate USA certified and ISI certified. If you take weekly group lessons and plan to get your scout merit badge in ice skating, you should plan at least which to me seems like a lot for a merit badge. But I talked to a former boy scout who said, no, Merit badges can take you about a year to do. That's not unusual. So maybe that is the plan. What I'm finding with the skaters and parents that are contacting me recently is that they think they can get all this stuff done in one or two lessons, maybe three. They're planning on taking their test on this in about a month. If you're looking at getting your merit badge, please consider the time it takes to do each of these maneuvers. Some skaters may take even longer than that. Suppose you or your troop want to earn that badge. In that case, I highly I highly recommend contacting your local skating rink and asking the skating director for dedicated semi-private classes where an instructor can customize a class geared specifically for the skills that you need to get the merit badge. That would hopefully shorten the duration for you. I also suggest taking lessons more than once a week, at least twice weekly with additional practice time on your own. Of course, I also do not have the information on the standards and expectations of how these tests are evaluated. Does a troop leader do the evaluations? Do they need to have skating experience? Is there a list of standards they should look for as we have in Learn to Skate USA, ISI, US Figure Skating? I don't know. If you represent the Boy Scouts, please feel free to contact me to discuss the expectations for this badge. If this video helped you, please give it a like and share it with somebody else you think it could help. Just post it to your social media too. I post videos every week that can help you with your skating, your fitness, nutrition, ultimately live a better life. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy. Happy skating. I will see you real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.